Hello, and you know who I am. If you're new to this channel, I am Sean from the Sean Sense. Here with your daily movie news roundup. Every day I can bring you the latest in movie news. Yes. So let's go right into it. We got some good news. Sin City 2 casting news. Robert Rodriguez was talking to uh, NTV. NTV. Saying everybody's going to be back. All our training cast members will be back for this, this for the sequel. That is great news. But what about Angelina Jolie? She has been rumored for years for the Day in the Kill role. They said they haven't talked to her yet, but they're, they're, they're going to talk to her. But Jolie's busy filming the Maleficent, so I don't know. They should be uh, uh, free to film this movie. But everybody's back with Zara Dawson, Mickey Rourke. Everybody back. Everybody I mean, that would be great. Cincy 2. Let me see if I can officially say what he said. Here's what he said to NTV. We, we still have the cast. I'm shooting Machete next month, and we go right into Sin City. My overlap, but we haven't done any casting yet, except for the people who we know are already in, in it and returning. He said, adding, if Dan to kill for all these people come, come back, I just had to watch her make it work this weekend. He's, he's, he's all excited to come back, but he's probably the first one I saw was Zara Dawson, too. I ran into her for something else, and she's so she's pumped. I've always been excited and about doing another one, and so it's so fun. That is great to hear that all the cast is excited to come back. I think taking a couple, a few years off to do another one and not do it right away, waiting it come naturally and then do another one, that's that was the good idea. I think Robert Rodriguez is so busy, he just let him do other projects. He always does, says he's going to do one thing, then does the other. Remember he's going to do Jetsons movie, whatever happened to that? I don't know. Let's go to other news here. The Magic Mike trailer hit the Chaitin and Stripper will be. Decent looking movie. Oh, he's a stripper. It's based on his past. It looks like a fun little movie. Mostly for the women who like chanting him half naked. I don't think he took the naked movie. Does the stripper. Yeah, he's a stripper and meets a girl and decides to stop stripping or not. Kind of opposite, like a woman meets a man. But with a man role. If we get Matt McConaughey in there and Alex Pettifer. So it looks like a decent movie. But you know, it's alright. That's your trail analyst right there. Trail analyst. Trail review right there. Sorry. Okay. And Open Road Films announced today they have a car from rights to sequel Sign of Revolution 3D. Okay, first of all, never played the video in Star Hill. The first movie was weird. I didn't watch like first one minutes of it. But the movie will come out October 26th this year. So if you're really looking forward to this one, it will start unknown as the young girl who on the eve of her 18th birthday is plagued by nightmares as his father. It has some and she discovers that he's not who she, what she thinks she is. That's the good people, Rod and Mitchell, Sean Bean. So we'll see where this goes. Sign Hill Revolution 3D, the sequel we never asked for, and no one did. And yesterday I talked about uh, Michael Douglas doing that uh, Las, Vegas, Las Vegas movie for CBS Films. And I said it could be a decent movie, it could be it could be good, but now it is going to be great. Robert De Niro and Christopher Walken are going to be in it too. Michael Douglas, Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken all together, and you got to get Jack Nicholson too. If they get Jack Nicholson, it'll be awesome. The four, three and Danny, four Rock and Birdies. The one more, one more person to go. So, man, it's gonna be good. Crystal Rock and Robert Nero and Michael Douglas partying in Vegas. Doesn't that sound like an awesome movie? It does to me. I don't, I don't know if it does. It, this sounds really good. The Hangover of Old People. That sounds awesome. I love De Niro. I love Crystal Rock and I think this will be an awesome movie. I can't wait to hear who the fourth member of the cast is. I'm so excited now. I just when I started filming. Uh, uh, finished filming the last episode yesterday. The news hit about Nero. I was like, "Fuck, man! I didn't get to film that shit, man." Okay, off to the other news today. Jason Segel will not be Muppets too. He said no. He wants to give, go away from franchise. That's good. Let, let the Muppets go on. Jason Segel not really needed. He helped to get back to the big screen. Nicholas Stoller is back. He's the he's the director. So we'll see. Yeah, so I think it's all right. And for all your Scorsese fans and DiCaprio fans, they're back teaming together. For the Wolf of Wall Street, this will be their fifth feature compilation together. I, I, I love The Departed, man. That was an awesome movie. My, my, one, one of the Sean the Sean uh, one of the frequent contributors to Sean one of the co-founders of it, Ralph Hartman. Shout out to you guys for watching. He loves the women's series of all time. He's one, he's one of the key members of the Sean Sense. I have to give a shout out to people when I talk about their own movies. Let's get started with the copy guys, Jordan Beaufort. It's a, it comes Belfort's Jack Rise and Falls on Wall Street along with his hard parting lifestyle and tremendous personal life. Let's go to drug alcohol addiction. That's like a, a bit really good movie. And what I smell? Oscar. I smell Oscar. 
I smell this is an Oscar movie. This is an Oscar movie that, that Scorsese and all, they're going to film it this summer and probably be out next year. You know, the Capital has two movies out this fall. He has Great Gatsby in 3D and The uh, Chingo Chain come out the same day. Caprio faced off against himself. I never heard of an actor faced off themselves on a wink today. day. That's crazy. Let me see if there's any other news here before we leave. The Wolverine will film in Sydney, Australia. That is very weird because they're supposed to be it's a Japanese based movie. Yeah. Let's see. They will create 200 jobs for Sydney, but that's good. Who Jack can go into his hometown and sooner. I'm really excited to be James Mongols directing. He's a great director. But it's supposed to be a Japanese type movie, but they're filming in Sydney, Australia. That kind of worries me a little bit. How else are we going to be? But I'll bring $80 million, $80 million to, the, uh, to the South Coast economy. That's pretty good. Well, I'm, I mean, I knew Jack can help out his economy there. That's pretty nice. Nice of him. Anything else we got here? Um, hmm. Mostly that is it today. So let me talk about the first couple things that we're planning here on the Sean Zents. No, nothing much out here. Mm. Charlize Theron. Here's one more story. Charlize Theron star in Rubber Age of 13. Uh, no part tells her to the team, but the pitch said to be a hot commodity and rise from shooting to cover teasing known. So it starts, it's uh, outside of Armas Psycho and Fantasy. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty cool. So she's also going to share on someone that's been. And uh, it's going to be in Prometheus, so. As we talked about a guy during the uh, Rise of Ben Lee, so that'd be really pretty cool. Okay, nothing about mumbling around. So, as you always, remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel for your daily dose of TV news, women news, entertainment news, anything, and always the random antics of the Storm and One, the great one, the host who knows the most, Storm and Norman, with all his wrestling news. You know, he loves wrestling. I do too. Don't get me wrong, I don't talk about it because I like to let him talk about it, but yes. So I want to give you an update. Saturday or Sunday, I will be reviewing Pro Wrestling Gorilla DDT4, which I'm attending in Reseda, California, driving an hour away to see some of the best tag teams in wrestling right now. Future Shock, the Young Bucks, Sammy Callahan and Roger Tron. It's going to be a great tournament. Kevin C. has a challenge. So I'll be there live, and I'll give you updates. I'll give you a big live report Sunday. That'll be good. And Storm and Arm will do his video sooner or later. And I might, be, I might be off the rest of the week until Sunday. I know I'll be back tomorrow because I haven't watched TV news. So that's why I haven't been doing much TV videos. But so remember, I love the three likes yesterday. That was awesome. So remember to like this video, comment, everything, whatever. I'm more ambling on. Let me shut the camera before I embarrass myself. Ooh.